In this video, I'm going to show you the proper way to turn a push mower on its side if you need to do some work to it. This is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. If you're a subscribed member to my community, then welcome back. If you're new to my channel, consider clicking that subscribe button below and please like this video if it was helpful for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. So there are several reasons why you might need to turn the mower on its side. You might have run over something in the yard and it got all tangled up in the blade like we have here. Or you might need to remove the blade so that you can replace the blade or sharpen the blade or anything like that. Uh, who knows what reason you might have, but there are reasons that you might need to do this. So the problem is, is if you turn the mower onto the carburetor side, you're going to be leaking fuel out of the gas cap like we have here and potentially that fuel can leak through the carburetor and get into your air filter and soak your air filter as well. So that's not a very good option. And if you turn it onto the muffler side, your muffler might fill up with oil if you just arbitrarily turn the mower on its side without doing any steps first. Okay, so let me show you here what I'm talking about, about the proper way to do this. So the first thing I would do is clamp this down uh, if you don't have a clamp, use a bungee cord, anything like that. Um, this will help you be able to turn the motor a little bit easier and find the, uh, the compression stroke. Next, I would certainly not forget this step right here. Disconnect the spark plug wire because if you do forget that, that can result in some unfortunate circumstances. Okay, so next thing you're going to want to do is kind of tilt it a little bit, you know. You can go up 40 degrees, 45 degrees or whatever. All right, so with the handles clamped down and the spark plug disconnected, you can pretty safely rotate the engine. And what you're going to do is look for the compression stroke, okay? See that? Right there, it stops on the compression stroke. So you can feel that. So turn it like that. You'll kind of get like two bumps right there. I don't know if you noticed that. There's one. There's two. So you want to be halfway between the two bumps. Right there. All right, so that means the valves are closed and you can safely go ahead and turn it on its side. And just go ahead and turn it over on its side. Now we can work on it. Just wanted to show this. I did take a couple rolls of tape or something and put them right there to, uh, to kind of hold it from turning too far. So you can do that too to kind of stabilize the mower. But we should be able to leave it like this for quite a while. Um, I'm going to leave it like this overnight and come back tomorrow morning and see what we got. And then I'll prove to you that, uh, that this does work. Now if that muffler is full of oil tomorrow when I start this thing up, um, it'll have a big cloud of smoke that came out of it. And also it'll be dripping all over the bench. So... Um, we're going to be in test mode here till tomorrow. Okay, here we are the next day. I put a tray under there last night after I stopped filming, and this morning I have not a drop of uh, oil in the tray. So let's take it outside and start it up and see how much smoke blows out of the muffler. Then we'll know for sure. Spark plug disconnected. Don't forget to connect the spark plug. All right, here we go again. a little bit of light smoke that came out of the muffler. I don't know if that showed up on the camera or not, but it was very negligible. Uh, I did forget to connect the spark plug back, so uh, that's my fault, not the lawnmowers. All right, thanks for watching.